Hey guys, Melina from NRF Australia. I'm here on the Fight Stalker Tour. I'm currently at Fighters Haven on the Gold Coast in Queensland and I'm here with promoter Rido. Rido. How do I say your last name? Kaliund. Kaliund? Kaliund, correct. Um, so he's the promoter of Russian Roulette Fight Series. Um, they've had two shows so far here on the Gold Coast. So just going to have a catch up with Rido. And am I saying that right, Rido? Yes, Rido. Rido. <laughs> um, to um, have a little bit of chat about the history of the show and, and what he's got planned mm. for it. So. How are you going? I'm going good, thank you. And you? Good, thank you. <laughs> so first of all, can you just let people know um, a little bit about the show? Yep. Uh, first, why I wanted to start the show is because I think in Gold Coast there is not much shows, many shows. And um, my priority is uh, juniors. But um, as I had had uh, two shows now, I wanted to have a taste of both. So I have juniors and adults. Yep. So eventually I would like to have, have one show for juniors one show for, for adults and, and just um, give more to juniors so yep. because they are our future. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah so far great. so good, you know. Yeah, yeah excellent. So um, their first show they did um, yeah, for, the, for the juniors, so for the kids. Second show was a mixed show. So you're looking at the next one next being show, just, ju just juniors, juniors and yep. then another one with just That's it. adults. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Um, and what's the idea behind the name? Um, because obviously I'm, I'm from overseas. Yep. Uh, I always like to be a little bit different. Yep. You know, but sometimes people don't like different, but, but that's what I wanted to do. And, and I think like life is Russian roulette. You never know what's going to happen with you. Yeah. And then especially when you step over the ropes, then you never know you, how bad you get injured or how you win or, or even worse thing can happen. So I think that's, that's was my main thing why yep. I wanted the show. And as soon as this came to my mind, I thought, yes, that's, that's how it has to be, you know? Yep. Yeah, cool. And what do you feel like... Um, Compared to uh, other shows out there, what, what sort of a thing do you bring to the fight shows? Mm, I think there is lots of good shows around, but but I would like to work with uh, Moita Queensland because it's sanctions, and and I think the more sanctions shows we had, then the more um, the more we out there yep. for, for the for the public and um, and just yeah, just just more quality. Like there is lots of fights in the bobs and and a bit like dark kind of dark for, for juniors, but, but I try to find um, the venues what's, what's a bit more bright, a bit more happy and a yeah. bit more um, like family friendly, maybe yeah. this way. Yeah, 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 excellent. And it's, it's a really great venue where you've got it at yeah. there too, because the, the ring's right in the middle. So everyone that's sitting mm -hmm. around the ring, even the people standing, everybody can see. Everyone's really up close to the fire. Yeah, as well, yeah. So, so everyone is kind of ringside, you know? That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so it sounds really good when all the crowd get into it and, you know, it's, yeah. it's really loud and they're all pumping the fighters um, on. How did you go with the, your first two shows? What do you think of them? Oh, that was very exciting. It's, it's, it's kind of the feeling. When you step over the ropes, it's, yeah. it's, it's the nervous feeling, but same time excitement yeah. and, and you don't know um, what exactly happened, but you, you, you visualize and, and you plan it so well day and night and, yeah. and it's, it's, it's such a good, strong vibe, I think. So that actually on the, the first show, I remember it was everything so planned that on the day actually when it's happened, I wasn't nervous at all. Everything yeah. was planned. I know it's going to be smooth, even if it was only three fights there, but I, I was happy what's happened. and, and and uh, all the six fighters got the got the fight there, and, and they were happy. So, yeah. you know, there is always winners and losers, but I'm happy th with the outcome. And that's good. And, and same with the second show. You know, second show was a bit more stressful because mm. um, I had adults as well, and obviously um, there is a bit more money involved. And then when someone pulls out, then it's a bit more stressful. But thanks to National Registered Fighters, <laughs> we, we got our good main event, and and we, we had great fight there. So. Okay. There is there is lots of people who said me after the show that it's well done and and there was obviously people who maybe disliked you know but I haven't had any any bad comments so yeah. so I think it was was well done you know yeah. so yeah cool um it was hard it was interesting and some new challenge for me but but this is something I I always wanted to when I when I lived in WA then uh, I was lucky to be a part to organize one big show there yeah. And then after this, I kind of get this little, um, how can I say, addiction to, <laughs> to start doing the shows one day. And, and uh, because I used to fight myself uh, before when I was in Thailand and a few fights here. And, and um, as I was preparing here for a fight, then just something happened with me and I couldn't fight anymore. So then I start coaching. But I think everything happened with reason. And, and um, now I have more to give, not just for myself, but... Yeah. but 
train kids and, and uh, be students. One amazing trainer, Arslan, and, and uh, give something actually much bigger than just fight for myself, you know? Yeah. And then I think that's what has happened. And then, mm. and along the line, I thought now is maybe time to start organizing the fight shows too, because I got um, used to it with the community and, and I got no more people here. And, and I see this Muay Thai Guiz and actually I think we have the most gyms in Australia, you yeah. know? And, and I think the communication and everything getting better for me. So I think it's now right time to start doing the yeah, shows, right. you know? Yeah, that's awesome. So tell us a little bit about, a bit more about your background. So where from overseas are you from? From Estonia. Yeah, right, Estonia. Estonia. And yeah. did you were you fighting over in Estonia? Um, I had some in club uh, boxing fights. Yep. So end of nineties there was lots of uh, let's say lots of gangs and lots of fighting and and every weekend you basically go out you come back and you fought, fought with someone. And, so um, life, life experience. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like this, and and then, but there wasn't much. There wasn't Muay Thai this time around, mm, right. and and was a couple of boxing gyms. And for me to go boxing gym, I had to um, take a bus after school, take me maybe 45 minutes, mm. even if it's winter, like minus 20, yeah, minus right. 25 degrees. <laughs> and there was very good Russian boxing coach for everyone who liked to do boxing. Went yeah. there, and and then I did this about three years, and then I had few in gloves boxing yep. fights but you know I was I was still young and I was like to party and hang around and do the stupid stuff you know yeah but but then um, after there was a few guys who who brought um, Muay Thai in Estonia okay because they've been in Thailand and stuff and and then yeah we we opened our own gym there and and yeah and then yeah I got more used to it with martial arts you know yeah and and after this I moved to Thailand before I came to Australia, so yep. then I got really addicted to Muay Thai. Yep. You know? How long were you in Thailand for? Uh, I was six months there. Yeah, yeah, right. And I was only 23 this time, you know. Yeah. But still, you know, I, I, I always liked to have fun and I, it was kind of my just just hobby and I wanted yep. to try. Yeah. But when I came to Australia, then I tried to find some gym close to my home and then that's how I found uh, Scorpion Gym and Arzan Magomedov was training. Yeah, because right. he's from Russia and that was close to my heart, you know, and then I stick with this gym and, and, and he taught me what he knew and now it's been seven, eight years I've been learning as yeah. alongside of him. So that's how everything I think get to get to get together, you know. Yeah, cool. And then when, um, so you've, uh, you were at Scorpion with Arsan, mm -hmm. um, then you guys moved into this premises here um, and you're now Fighters Haven? Um, not, we, we was different locations and, and uh, also, the, we was in um, Surfers Paradise where uh, Paul De Macaulay had a uh, prophecy yep. and, and uh, he helped us a lot. And, and yeah, just I think I think was was from from lots of different promoters and, and teams who got um, how say got the help to keep going. And, and, yep. and then we was in the rank and, and then finally um, we came to this place. So we thought Pearl is the place where you want to be. It's a yep. beautiful place in Gold Coast. And, and, um, and because Arsenal comes from, from uh, Scorpion Gym uh, from Russia, and, uh -huh. and Scorpion Gym has, um, I think, more than 70 world champions. Yep. But basically, all his life he's been training on his own. Yep. And he's, he's kind of developed his own, own striking and his own fighting style. Mm. So that's why he, he just wanted to make a new name. Yep. on his own knowledge and, yep. and experience and and not just we don't want to be Muay Thai gym but martial arts school where yep. where we teach kids to you know our experience where we're we coming from and and it's it's no point to go and bash outdoors people to just come in the gym and then yep. have like-minded people here and then yep. train and then educate each other you know <laughs> hit people when you like them that's it yeah <laughs> Um, and so, be friends after. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so with the gym here, um, what sort of classes do you offer here? Um, at the moment, we've been having uh, kids' classes from four years old. Um, then we have teenagers, and, and mostly we've been focusing on, on juniors at the moment from, yeah. from nine to 16 years. Yeah. And, and this is our main fighters at the moment, and, and we like to develop juniors, you know? Yeah. Um, and then we have adults classes. Uh, sometimes the parents come here to train and, okay. and, and uh, some strength and conditioning classes. Mm. And, and also we got new um, PJJ coach on the board, Black Belt. Yeah. 
Yeah, right. So yeah, then we're gonna have lots of mixed MMA classes and, and boxing classes and Yeah, right. So right. yeah. So you have Muay Thai, boxing, boxing MMA, MMA and BJJ. BJJ, yeah, yes. right. Cool. And strength and conditioning. Yes. Yeah, excellent. Cool. And um, what time do, are your um, classes on? We start from uh, next uh, week new timetable. So we start five o'clock classes, yep. six o'clock classes until uh, about ten o'clock. Yep. Um, with females classes special and and um, then we start um, kids classes from 3:30 so they can parents can drop them off after yeah, the school right. yeah. and uh, and then teenager classes and and uh, again adults classes so yeah. all mixed uh, Muay Thai and and PJJ and just different times and yeah gotta back this place up yeah that's <laughs> it so what's your um, goal for the gym so you you want to be teaching all sorts of all sorts of martial yep. arts, not just Muay Thai, but, but self-defense and, and, yep. and discipline. And, and just when people come in this gym, they feel like they're home and, and yeah. they, they feel good about themselves, you yeah. know. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, so can you tell me, back, going back to the show, um, mm -hmm. give me a little bit of a, a rundown on you know, your vision for the show, where you, where you want to see it in the future. Yep. Um, I would like to this show going to be huge and uh, have that goal that by 2022, maybe it's going to be and uh, Gold Coast uh, Exhibition Centre. Yeah, cool. Um, and and have, have international and national fighters and, and put some great show happening. Maybe maybe together with, with um, Muay Thai Gumi, so all the um, promoters going to get together and, and we put all the, our forces together and, and make something really beautiful here, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, so what, what do you think is, um, I guess, missing for, for the sport, you know, f to be able to put on good shows? Mm, I think a um, little bit is because less communication maybe or, or people don't want to work too much uh, with each other and everyone want to do their own thing maybe that's why or maybe just uh, maybe just experience and 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 um, yeah for example with my la um, with my first and with my second show I had lots of people who, who helped me and advised me and because mm. I didn't know nothing how things work and, and I'm the overthinker so I try to have everything perfect and yeah. sometimes when you want to have perfect then you're doing too much and, <laughs> and um, yeah, it was, was, was lots of people, community, Moita community here who, who helped me. So oh, I, th I think yeah, as the, more, the more communication we have, I think the more better shows we can make and, and uh, Obviously, the more sponsors uh, we're gonna get, the bigger shows we can have, and because first, most this goes to the fighters because this is this is their job, and if yep. if we don't have shows, then they don't have fights, and and it's obviously expensive to fly out from Australia here to somewhere to fight and, and or interstate, and, and mm. I think it's it's lots of shows actually already in Queensland, but um, there is definitely space for more and and. And that's what I try to do. I try to have more shows in Gold Coast, especially, yeah. and and uh, get local gyms here because it's then then everyone can participate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I'm um, saying so, you know everyone works together as a whole. As a whole. Can rate, raise yeah, the, yeah. the level of the sport that's for it. everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. We can leave the question out there: Is 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 Russian roulette too tough for for the fight show or for the juniors, or is is that good to use? You know, so yeah. So you guys, if you want to comment below on the video and just let us know, um, do you like the name Russian roulette, or do you think it needs to be something else? <laughs> that's let, it. Let us know. Get, give yeah. give us some feedback to Rado. Um, yeah, great. And so, is there anything else you want to let people know about the show? Um, hopefully the next show is going to be mid-June or end of June. Of, of course, with Melina's help and National Race Fighters' help, we, we're going to have a look if there's not much shows around. And, and so uh, our geeks, all the geeks can have every four, four weeks or five weeks can f have fights and, and no one needs to um, miss out the fights. So, yep. yeah, and, and I try to have the just juniors next show. And uh, and then maybe after this uh, mix or or adults only. But yep. I would like to focus on junior shows mostly. Yep, great. So if you're looking for to put some juniors on, um, get in touch with NRF, or we'll put the link to the Russian Roulette page on on the Facebook page um, down in the comments. And they've also got an Instagram as well. So um, yeah, nominate your juniors now so we can start getting the match for the fights. Um, and as we said, we'll confirm the date. It'll be in June. We're just going to look for a good. Um, uh, time slot for it when it's not clashing with too many other shows. Yes, um, and, and, and huge thank you for uh, Moita Queensland uh, for the trust uh, that I can have a 
Muay Thai Queensland sanctions uh, fight show and, and I have the best referees and chassis around and, and all the people involved so I'm happy to uh, put on good show next time. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your yeah. time. We look forward to seeing you next show. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.